Compressed air is a valuable and widely used form of energy prevalent in industrial, commercial, and military environments. If not properly managed, it can be very expensive to maintain. The cost of air compressor operation over its lifetime exceeds the original purchase price many, many times over. The highest cost of air compressor ownership is the power consumption over its lifetime. This far exceeds all other costs, with the distant second highest cost being the maintenance and the labor required to ensure consistent performance and operation. By improving the operating efficiency of air compressor operation, there is a significant cost savings over time. There are three main areas of air compressor operation where energy is wasted that when managed appropriately will deliver an immediate and sustained improvement on energy savings. The most energy waste occurs during compressor pump startup, followed by how often and efficiently the expansion tank is drained of condensate. The third way energy is wasted is by how accurately and consistently the pressure bang gap is maintained during operation. All air compressors have an electric or mechanical unloader valve installed that releases the pressure in the pump when compression cycles are finished. If the unloader valve does not release pressure properly, stress and related damage to the compressor pump, belt and motor is unavoidable. Using a naturally closed unloader valve during startup results in high startup current, dry starts, and wear that further diminishes the system efficiency over time. This also creates a supercharge in moisturized air, causing condensate water to become trapped in the compressor pump crankcase, reducing the life of the lubricants. Air compressors outfitted with the compressor controller automatically soft start the compressor with feedback from the pump to optimally manage the unloader valve. Precision unloader valve management ensures that the pump is always loaded with the least amount of strain every time the compressor starts. This can reduce startup current by as much as 20% on each startup. It also prevents the mixing of condensate and lubricants while continuing to maintain the efficiency of the compressed air system. Air naturally contains humidity, and when air is compressed, it transfers that moisture into the expansion tank. As the compressed air is cooled, condensation collects in the bottom of the tank and must be removed. Draining this condensate is a necessity for the compressor to operate effectively because it prevents moisture from getting into the lines and air tools and also prevents the development of corrosion, which increases the safety of operation. Today, the most common way to drain this condensate is through the spigot at the bottom of the expansion tank, controlled with a timed drainage valve set to open for a brief moment at a certain interval. This method is not optimized for either drainage or power consumption and uses the internal pressure of the system to blindly expel the condensate with no knowledge on volume that must be removed. The volume of condensate present in the expansion tank fluctuates with the amount of humidity in the air during compression, with pump cycles occurring through the day. A static, timed drain has no feedback related to humidity and cannot adjust the frequency or duration of the drain. Without any knowledge about condensate volume, the drainage cycles are either directly wasting money and unnecessarily opening the valve and lowering the internal pressure, causing the pump to cycle, or not expelling enough condensate, leading to undesired moisture in the lines. Neither of these is desirable. The compressor controller includes humidity and ambient temperature as part of the operation model, allowing it to precisely calculate the volume of condensate formed during air compression at all times. With this knowledge, the compressor controller controls expansion tank drain cycles only when condensate is present and opens the valve only long enough to expel the condensate without wasting compressed air. This feature prevents the pump from unnecessarily cycling thousands of times over the course of its lifetime, saving hundreds or thousands of dollars in energy and maintenance costs. Most importantly with this approach, compressed air moisture content is reduced up to 70% without the use of additional dryers or conditioners.
In operations where dry lines are critical and desiccant or other dryers are installed, the compressor controller provides a much less expensive way to dehumidify the air and reduce the energy and maintenance costs of compressed air operation. An air compressor pressure band gap is the area between the low and high pressure set points. In most air compressors, the set points are set with a mechanical switch that relies on spring tension that is imprecise, unrepeatable, and subject to environmental humidity, vibrations, and pressure. Due to mechanical wear together with fluctuating environmental conditions, both the low and high set points drift over time, with estimates as high as 20% annually. If the pressure set points are not being checked and set daily, there can be a significant increase in energy consumption and operational cost. Unmonitored pressure can also be a safety concern. For each PSI above the set point, there is an increase in pump cycling time and power consumption in order to maintain the higher than necessary pressure setting. The overall energy cost to the owner is roughly increased 1% for each PSI above. For each PSI below the set point, there is a reduction in air tool performance, which directly affects work quality. Air compressors outfitted with the compressor controller are 100% digital. With constantly calibrated digital sensors, the pressure band gap is consistently maintained and remains accurate year-round, without any drifting, no matter the environmental conditions. Digital precision in pressure regulation saves energy, prevents unnecessary wear and tear, and delivers reliability and consistency to air pressure at all times, increasing safety and operational stability. Whether minimizing load on every startup to reduce current, maintaining a consistent air pressure band gap, or optimally draining the expansion tank, the compressor controller is an expert system embedded into your compressed air network, always ensuring maximum performance and minimal power consumption for the life of the compressor. Retrofitting air compressors with the compressor controller saves many times its cost annually, continuing to deliver value year after year. To learn more about compressor controllers or to make a purchase, visit CompressorController.com.